Hi, this is Chris from Essential SQL with answers from today's lesson on querying results using pattern matching. So the first question that we were asked was to select all customers whose business is on a drive. So really what we're looking for here are all customers that have the word drive in their address. So again, using the like clause, what we'd be looking for is essentially doing a like clause on the field addressed on the customers table. And this qu query looks like this. We're going to get the company name, contact name, and address from customers. And then what we're looking for is every customer where the word drive is somewhere in their street address. When I run it, I get two results. Second question is to select all orders shipped in April. And then the hint is, is that dates are in a year, year, month, month, day, day format. And recall the um, customer table or the orders table dates are in character format. So if I do schema on orders, you'll see that the dates are varcar, which means they're character. So I can use the like clause on them. So there's actually two solutions. The first would be to use a like pattern where we're looking for any date where, or basically value that is dash zero four dash. So this would, the percent in the beginning would represent years and the percent at the end would represent days. So this would essentially bring back everything that's in April. And then another way of doing this would be using the underscore. If you remember, the underscore matches exactly one character. So I could create placeholders, almost like a mask for the field. And here you can see I got placeholders for the year. There's actually four underscores there. Then dash 04 for April, and then two for the date. And those come back as such. Now this might not work if the 06 was actually like, 2012-04-6. So the leading zeros are what makes me feel comfortable knowing that this is going to work. All right, the last question is how many orders were placed in 2012 with a freight charge less than seven? So let me paste in the question here. And the answer, I'm going to do the intermediate first is based on a query that's going to look similar to this where really I'm, I'm selecting orders where the order date is like 2012 and the freight charge is less than seven. So this demonstrates how I can use the like clause uh, in conjunction with other clauses. If I run this, I get back uh, an answer. Remember, it's, it asked me how many. So really what I want to do is I want to remove the order ID, customer ID, and ship date from the um, query and to do that I can use the count ID to get the the number so I'm going to do that by pasting in and I get back three I think this is a good uh, illustration too that sometimes when you get to complicated queries it actually is good to output some of the rows so you can actually see that you're picking up the data that that's required and then once you're comfortable with the query, then you can kind of use the aggregate functions. Because otherwise, it's kind of like a black box. You really don't know what the query is picking up. You just know it's returning three. Hopefully that makes sense. So these are the answers, again, for querying results using pattern matching. Uh, if you have any questions, please contact me at SQL Chris on Twitter. Or you can leave a comment on my blog's post. Thank you very much. Have a good day.